together and come back because I, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so my first appointment was my hair appointment and my hair was done by Hair by Kaya. I would rate this appointment a 9 out of 10. She moves very quick. She got through my hair quick. I got wine um, for free, of course, obviously, with my order. She recorded this little content video for me. Parts were real neat. Braids were real neat. So I will give this appointment a 9 out of 10. I definitely will be returning. Hey, good morning, guys. We are on day two of maintenance day. So yesterday I got my hair done and i did include some clips of like the process 
But I didn't show y'all the end result because by the time I had got home, well, not by the time, because it's not like she took a long time. But I had to run some errands, basically, y'all. I was just too tired. But I'm about to get up and show y'all my hair. The time is currently 8.28. Y'all saw my alarm went off. Why is that light like that? Okay. Y'all saw my alarm went off at 8.25. My appointment's at 10. But I want to leave out by around probably like 9.15-ish. Only because um, I think parking may be a little difficult. I didn't know that before I had booked this last appointment, but yeah. So this to be on the safe side, I want to make sure I leave out early. But today we are getting my eyebrows, I mean my eyelashes done. And after I get my eye, why would I just pull my eyelid up like that? After I get my eyelashes done, I need to get these eyebrows done. You really can't see in this lighting, but let me see. Y'all, I'm starting to grow a freaking unibrow. That's how long it's been since I got my eyebrows done. Yeah. I don't know. Yes, can you can y'all see it? But either way, y'all can see that my eyebrows look absolutely terrible. So normally I do. Ooh. Normally I do my own eyebrows. I just use some the Nair face. But I decided, like you know what, since it's my birthday, I'm gonna go back to my old eyebrow threading lady. So I have not touched my eyebrows. Like, um, I don't even know if I touched them on my Valentine's Day date. Fuck that nigga. But um. Anyways, I don't even know if I touched them then. I think I, I don't think I did though. So yeah, I really have not touched my eyebrows for a while. I've been letting them go out. I haven't been messing with my lashes or anything. So yeah, I'm gonna get up cause I look real dusty and we're gonna start getting ready to go to this appointment. Okay guys, so this is how my braids turned out. And y'all can see the parts are real nice, real crispy. And this is what it looks like from the back. One thing I do wish was different, I do wish I had a little bit more of the curly pieces. And I didn't realize that until I left, so that's why I didn't say anything at my appointment. But it's still cute. I'm going to just go to the beauty supply and get some more, um, go to the beauty supply and buy some more curly hair. And then also for the ends, see how like curl them? And I realized that too, that I don't really like the two curl ends. I like for my ends to be a little straight. Like, yeah, so I'm going to dip these, the ends again, in hot water. Because if you ever get braids and you don't like how curled the ends are, all you got to do is dip them in hot water. But other than that, though, she did really good. I was in and out. Um, one thing about it, I do not like sitting for a long time. And she had me right in and out. So they're perfect. I like that they're flat. I do not like braids that are too bulky, especially since, like, you know, it's my birthday. I'm going to be wearing a birthday dress. I do not want no bulky ass braids or no chunky braids that look like I got crochet or something. No offense, but I don't like that look. So, once I add some more curly hair, y'all, I'm going to be set. But, anyways, y'all, let me hurry up and start getting ready for this last appointment. Y'all, so I'm low-key resting because time went by so quick. It is currently 9.20. The place is like 30 minutes away, and I need to go to the ATM. So, um, and I remember I told y'all I got to find parking. So, I'm about to hurry up and leave out, and I will show y'all me at my last appointment. Y'all, what are all these bumps on my face? Ugh, I gotta get my skin back right. But anyways, y'all, let me hurry up and leave out before I get be late. I'm not even going to include the name of the last tech I went to because everything about it was just not it, like... Her attitude was bad. She was not friendly. I did not feel welcome. She's on the phone. Keep in mind, when you're getting your glasses done, you're sitting in a lane with your eyes closed. And she's ordering her lunch. Girl, do I look like I just want to lay here with my eyes closed all day? 
I really didn't like the set. Like, honestly, zero out of ten experience. You couldn't pay me to return. Okay, y'all. So, I am leaving my last appointment now. And this is the set. It is a very dramatic set, as y'all can see. And I have tops and bottoms. Um, I forgot to take allergy medicine before I left out and my eyes are watering a bit so that's why they're red but I'm about to go back home to take some allergy medicine um I was like really rushing to my last appointment I don't know why I mean I swear the time just like went like this next thing I knew I hopped out the shower it's like 9 15 then I had to go to the ATM by the time I was done on that it was like 9 30 and it took me 30 minutes to get here but that's with me like rushing here so yeah I didn't want to be late but this is how they turned out so I am going to go back home so I can get some allergy medicine. I also want to fix my edges up and stuff. And I want to save my mustache or whatever. <laughs> and then after I do that, I'm going to go and get my eyebrows done. And that will be my next part of my maintenance. Y'all, I also freaking, when I was resting here, I went to the wrong building, right? So I'm trying to hurry up and like back out so that I could come to the right building. And why did I accidentally reverse into a trash can? Yeah, like just imagine a big boom and I hit a trash can. Luckily, I did not damage my car. So everything is good, but still. So yeah, I'm about to go on and head on home. Sorry, y'all, this vlog is a bit choppy. This is my first maintenance, well, my first like maintenance vlog in a while. And I'm going to new people. Well, except for like my braids. But like I went to a new last text. So I really wasn't comfortable asking her to record. But yeah, we're going to get better. I'm going to be doing a lot more vlogs this year. And I'm going to make sure they're not as choppy. Like next time I get my lashes done, I actually want to record some of the process. So it's not like just me like, okay, here's me before. Here's after. Here's before. You know what I mean? But yeah, let's go ahead and head on home. 30 or 45 minutes is the last time I have saw y'all. And so many things have happened. So I was on my way home. And as I'm on my way home, I'm like, well, if I make this left, I'm going to be closer to the eyebrow place, right? So I'm like, there's no point in me going all the way home just to go get some allergy pills. Although my eyes are red and I need to go get them. I'm like, there's no point in me going all the way home to go get some allergy pills. And then I'm going to come all the way back down the highway this far. Like, that's just way too much. So then, as I'm on the way to the eyebrow place, I'm passing my grandfather's house. And I was on the phone with my mom like a minute before. And she told me she was at my grandfather's house to go give my aunt her birthday card. So I'm like, dang, I might as well go tell my aunt happy birthday. See my mom, see my dog. I'm going to put a picture of them. They look real cute today. And notice y'all, I be saying my dog. Clearly that's her dog. And do all that before I just go to the eyebrow place. So finally now, I'm at the eyebrow place. Uh, I don't think you can see it, but I've not been here in a long time. And I stopped coming here because she would always be insulting me. She would be telling me like, yeah, you have a lot of blackheads. Yeah, this, yeah, this. Like, damn, girl. Keep in mind, y'all, that time I was in fucking high school. Like, I'm in high school. I don't need somebody to tear down my fucking appearance and i really don't want to be here now like i'm now that i'm here i'm like i should not have came here i feel like she gonna comment on my lashes she could probably say something about my skin again say something about top lip like i really uh i really don't feel like dealing with all that but i'm gonna just go in here get my eyebrows threaded real quick and move on i need to get an actual car mount right now y'all just on my car and the other thing i have is like what i use for my phone or my gps but i wanted to show y'all these cute shirts my aunt got me for my birthday these are really cute. This is going to be like some cute shirts for me to wear around the house or whatever. And she got me this other one. Oh, is this not a shirt? Oh, ooh, it's a nightgown, y'all. I love me a good nightgown. But it's basically, you know, another little black shirt. And it says, I am black woman. Beautiful, magic, intelligent. It's real cute. Sorry, y'all. It's getting hot in here. But yeah, and she got me a journal too. And I've been needing a new journal because I want to start journaling every day. So I'm going to put this on my nightstand so I can start journaling. And yeah, this is really cute. So tomorrow, I have to go back to my grandfather's house because um, I still need my car. So my great aunt and my great uncle and y'all, I need that for spending money. So I'm going to go back there tomorrow. And when I go back there tomorrow, I'm going to bring her some flowers. I did get her a gift though. My mom... Uh, put my name on a card with $100 in it. But yeah, I'm going to bring her some flowers too. But let's go in here and get my eyebrows done. Because I do need to hurry up and go home and take this allergy medicine. Okay, so I'm actually about to go to this other eyebrow place I know. Because they in there doing people's lashes. And y'all, I wish I would sit through somebody getting their lashes done. 
And I told, like, the lady, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to come back to get my eyebrows done. Like, because, yeah, I didn't want to just walk out. So I was just trying to be nice and say that. But I'm not coming back. I'm going somewhere else. Like, I got other things to do. And so she asked the girl who last she was doing, like, if she could wait for a second. And, yeah, basically the girl said no. Which, okay, whatever. But, yeah, so I'm about to just go to go get my eyebrows done. Um, At this other place I used to go to. At this point, y'all, I'm just trying to think, like, so I just do my doing myself. And then my freaking, it's mainly this eye. Like, both eyes are red, but this is the eye that actually feels irritated, man. Yeah, I really am realizing. Last is just not for me. My eyes always get irritated. So after my birthday, I'm going to just have to cut it out. But yeah, now we're about to go to this other eyebrow place. I swear this is just turning into a car vlog. I really have to get better at vlogging. So when I go to this other eyebrow place, I'm going to force myself to vlog inside. Like, I don't care. I got to vlog. I need to make my money. And who wants to see me sitting in a car? Not y'all. So let me go ahead, start my car one up. And let's go to the other eyebrow place. And the other eyebrow place right down the street. I'll be there in like five minutes. So honestly, y'all, I should have just stuck to doing my eyebrows myself. For one, do y'all see these bumps I'm getting right here? Like, whatever they wipe my face with after is making me break out. Because, yes, my skin may not be the clearest right now. But I did not have these random spots on my face. And then, yeah, I just hate, like, this one stops short. But this one goes longer. Then you can see uh, right here, she took off too much hair. It's mainly just the fact, like, what the fuck does she just put on my face that is giving me these random bumps? So I'm about to hurry up and get home. When I get home, I'm going to take care of this top lip. I'm going to do a face mask, and that will be done with maintenance for the day. So, so far, we got my hair done, lashes done, eyebrows done, I guess. Um, yeah. And then t um, I'm going to go home, do a face mask, fix my baby hairs, and tomorrow we will get nails and um nails toes done we gotta go to a few stores buy some things and i still haven't decided if i'm gonna make another wax appointment or just you know handle it myself but yeah i just wanted to update y'all i'm not really happy with my eyebrows but it is what it is i mean i can't put the hair back on so we gotta go ahead and go home yeah so now that i'm back home i'm in a way better mood i don't know why I don't know, I feel like I was making too many stops at once or something. I was starting to feel real irritable. And my face is breaking out a little less now. But yeah, I'm still about to do some skincare. So first things first, y'all. I'm going to wash my hands. So, the main thing I just hate is that So my main issue with my skin is that I have like all these little bumps now and these uh, little like patches, which like I'm not, the thing is, I don't really, I don't know. I just don't have unrealistic standards for my skin. Like I know some people's skin is perfectly clear. This is not horrible, but I just feel like it could be better. You know, you know? So normally like what I used to use is aqua cider vinegar. I would dilute it and that actually like cleared it up before. So I'm gonna go back to using apple cider vinegar every day. And I also use the Aztec clay mask. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel like doing this right now. I'm gonna probably do this like tonight or tomorrow. So for right now, what I'm just gonna do is use this, the apple cider vinegar. And I got a little turmeric soap. And the main reason also why I ended up with this is because my mom had gave me this um, magic eraser dark spot cream and I don't know like what happened but it had made my face get like start stinging like burning and then I got some bumps right here and then those bumps turn into these like little dark spots so hopefully obviously I don't expect that this apple cider vinegar is to get rid of it like now but hopefully like in the next month or so if you get rid of it so yeah so let me go ahead um which one do I want to do first Pull my sleeves up. 
And y'all, once again, I'm sorry for the loud fan in this bathroom. And I'm also probably going to wash my edges because I'm going to have to recurl them because I didn't calm down last night. So yeah, after I do my edges, I'm going to tie my hair down. I mean, after I do my skincare, I'm going to uh, do my edges. That I need to do. I need to get rid of this uh, little mustache. I should have did that before because this soap, this turmeric soap is kind of harsh. Well, I don't know. Never mind because I probably should have washed that face before I put that on. And this is like the little turmeric soap you know you be seeing all on TikTok. My mom had some, so I just took some. Yeah, y'all, my face is really red. So I did my eyebrows. Like, y'all, what? I don't know if I'm, like, maybe, like, my eyebrows, because I have not got them thread in a while or what. But, um, yeah, I'm going to let that be. Then, this is how I used to use apple cider vinegar on my face. What I would do is take a napkin, wet the napkin, you get the apple cider vinegar and shake it up. Pour a little. And then I wet the napkin again. Because, you know, apple cider vinegar is real strong. And you wipe your face down. And over time, this will help with all small little bumps on your face. And discoloration. Well, let me say, it used to help for me. Let me put that disclaimer. And since I've noticed I'm having the same issue, I'm going to go back to my roots. This is what I use. This one, oh, y'all got it all backwards. Also. So this is what I use, but this is what I normally would use on my eyebrows, and I use it on my mustache area. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to put my glasses back on so I can see what I'm doing. Um, I was going to get them to thread my this, but I don't know. I feel like that would really hurt. And when she threaded, like, y'all, keep in mind, I have not got my eyebrows threaded in years. Oh, my God, my face is so fat now. Y'all, I bet it is year. I'm gonna lose this little weight I put on because I'm not feeling this. But keep in mind, I've not got my eyeball study in years because I told y'all before I went to the first eyeball study place, like every time I went there, she would just have some type of insult. Like, and so it got to a point where I'm like, well, I'm not about to keep spending my money with you. Like, she literally told me one time, yeah, you need to go to the store and buy lemon and something else because you have so many blackheads in your nose. Okay. Keep in mind, y'all, I was a high schooler, and my allowance was fifteen. Now, I know a lot of people get allowance. Period. My allowance was only fifteen dollars a week. To get your eyebrows threaded is twelve dollars. Bitch, I barely have money for this. I'm not going to the store buying no lemon. But better yet, why are you tearing like I literally was a child. I was a fucking high schooler. Now that I think back to it, I don't know why I went back there. I'm glad that they were busy drawing somebody's eyebrows. Cause no, I would never go back there. But yeah, um, I'm gonna make sure I set a timer. Because last time I freaking burnt my face with this. And I don't got time for that. I'm about to go out of town. So I'm going to set a timer. So I got I'm trying to text back. For 15 minutes. 
Ooh, not 15 for four minutes, y'all. My face, no, let me do three. Yeah, let me just do three. And if there's any left over, I'll just get an eyebrow razor and fix, you know, get it the rest off. Then I need to do my edges over. And for the rest of today, I just want to sit down and chill. Okay, y'all, so I just want to give y'all a little update. This is what I am looking like after skincare and everything else. I did my edges real quick. I'm feeling real pretty, looking real pretty, yeah. Eyeglasses done, eyebrows done, skincare, and of course, hair done. So this is day two of maintenance. We are still not done. Y'all don't know what just happened to my voice. <laughs> we are still not done. Yeah, I don't got my contacts in, so I really can't see y'all, but we are still not done. So I'm done for the day. I, I just need to sit down. I just need to relax. I do got some errands on my run, but they don't got nothing to do with maintenance or whatever. So I will see y'all again tomorrow, bright and early, because my nail appointment is at 9. I don't really know why I did that. So I'm going to see y'all real, 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 real early, because I don't want to be speeding to my appointment like how I was today with my lashes but I'm gonna see y'all and I'm gonna make sure tomorrow with my nails and I'm more comfortable with this girl like I don't know her but we follow each other for a few years so I'm gonna just ask her like hey girl can I record some for my vlog but yeah I'm gonna see y'all then bye okay so the nail tech I went to was nails by Lamore and let me tell y'all I definitely recommend like definitely 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 recommend and on a rating i would give her an 11 out of 10 if you are in the pg dmv area i definitely would recommend going she was very very sweet she had a good attention to detail um before my appointment even came so i had booked a freestyle front set and she basically texted me before like, asking what colors i wanted to do and i really like that because although it's something simple um a lot of entrepreneurs don't do things like that like they don't prepare in advance it's like once you get there they're preparing just like if you drop your wig off and they're plucking a wig right in front of you and so i like that she asked because say i wanted a color she didn't have or something at least she would have knew ahead of time so we could have prepared or made changes then once i got there she was very sweet she was good on my nails um she is home based but it's not like you sitting in her living room and it's like some ghetto kids running around or something no she has a cute little nail tech room right in her basement so it's very nice, very cute. I already have my filling appointment booked. I will be going back to her next Saturday. So you all will be seeing that in a separate vlog. But I definitely would recommend. Anybody who knows me knows that I am pretty quiet. Especially like when I first meet you, I just be observing. At first, like she was creating most of the conversations. Then it started and it started turning into me asking questions and creating conversations. Just because I really did enjoy my appointment. Like I'm actually really excited to go back, and I'm so happy. This is my first time ever going to an actual nail tech, and not one of the um nail salons. And I'm definitely very happy that I picked her, and I'm very excited for her to be my new and permanent nail tech. <laughs>
So this is where the vlog becomes real, real choppy. So I said at the beginning of the vlog that I wanted my hair to look a little bit more full. Um, basically like more curly hair. And this is literally the night before I went out of town. You can see the suitcase behind me. And I just decided, you know what, I'm going to quote and say in some more curly hair because I want more curls in my hair. Now, that was my first attempt. I don't know what I did, but it was a fail. But either way, let me tell y'all this. Um, This hair did look good. And so, y'all, I'm sorry. I'll be making some ugly faces when I'm doing my hair. But this hair did look good for the trip itself. But long term, like, this hair really won't last more than a week. So, what I ended up doing was coming back home, cutting this hair out. And then just closing in some regular synthetic curly hair. And I would definitely recommend that. It's worth a few extra dollars. The only reason I used this hair was because that's what they recommended on TikTok. And I wasn't even thinking about like a curly like bundle, synthetic bundle at the time. But yeah, I basically was just adding some more hair because I wanted my hair to have more curls than what it had before. Once again, I love my braids. There's nothing wrong with my braids. Or anything else I just wanted to have more curls in them and this is what my hair looked like once I curl say in the extra curly hair and I really like this like y'all can see it looks a lot fuller than it did before um, if you scroll like back to the beginning of the video and just for this I was just putting on some mousse and I was putting on a little conditioner to it as well just to um I was going to say just moisturize it, but this is synthetic hair, but really just to like tame it down, I guess you could say. But yeah, also make the hair smell good. But yeah, I really, really like this look. I realized like I like my braids to look flat and not bulky, but I need the curly hair to add a little extra body, especially with like, you know, going on an island. Obviously, I want my hair to look nice and full and just like, you know, give island girl. at this point y'all it was like 2 a.m the night before my flight keep in mind i had to wake up at like 4 a.m but i was almost done my um maintenance day the last I mean my maintenance days but the last thing i needed to do was basically just a little self-care so you can see i had my sour cube and i also had my foot mask and i also need to save my legs of course well i'm not gonna say you can't but me personally i'm not going out the country with my legs not saved and my um not saved so that was the main, last thing i had to do to get ready for the trip so i hope you all enjoyed this maintenance vlog of me getting ready for my 23rd birthday in cancun i will have a lot more maintenance vlogs on the way and i will see you all in my next video I know you make me float, float, float.